guys so today we're working on a 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee but this will apply to other Jeeps from 2011 till up to 2017 I believe that's when this this started to change up a little bit so the customer came in with a complaint that the coolant's going away but she's not seeing any drips on the bottom or whatever so what we're gonna do is diagnose the problem see where it's going there's no white smoke it's coming out from the back you know from the tailpipe so obviously most likely the uh, bro uh, blown head gasket is out of the question but there could be other issues so let's just take a look I think what I'm gonna do first is cool the car down then pressurize the cooling system and see if there's any obvious leaks kind of go from there all right so I have pumped up the pressure and the cooling system and it's dropping quite fast so after kind of looking around here's what I came found here so if you can see I don't know if we can tell right there the little elbow for a uh, heater core supply line has cracked and it looks like there's a bunch of residue on it as well so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna call the dealer and I'm back so got this part right here apparently it's being sold in a whole assembly you cannot just buy the one piece and this is the one that broke on, uh, on this particular Jeep this is a uh, 2011 3.6 version of the Jeep Grand Cherokee WK, WK2 model so let's uh, have some fun taking the Jeep apart and see how complicated this part really is to get to panel off you will need to remove the windshield wipers I use a 15 millimeter socket for that put the nuts back on on both remember which windshield wiper you're taking off this is gonna be you know the right and the left side is gonna be different the lengthwise and the shape of it itself then here you know you can use either a foot head screwdriver to just pop this out but this one has been taken off so many times that it just came off same thing on the right side as well then you just prop it open pop it off and it's going to come off so here just, I'm just gonna see if I can. let me set the camera down so I can use both hands to take this off if you flip the uh, windshield wiper arms around there's gonna be a mark on the inside it says driver G stands for driver and P stands for passenger so this one's going to go on a passenger side and then this one's going to go on the driver's side all right just making sure I would need to remove that bracket right there that holds this wiper arm on it so they're all 10 millimeter bolts then there's going to be one tell me 10 mil bolt right here this will come off you can disconnect that just move it to the side or remove it completely and then this whole panel will have to come out in order to remove this panel you got uh 10 mil uh what do they call them a plastic nut i was i'll just call it that way plastic nut on this side there's one on that side this will, can come off later. There, and then there is two more on each side. Uh, they're like, I believe there are also plastic nuts on this side and then behind the intake 
on that side. And that's the most painful ones to get to if you got big hands. Alright, let's see how long it'll take us to get there. Drain down tube down there that we can hook up a hose to and uh, drain it. We're under a car right now in the front end. So there's a 10 mil right here. There should be another one. Uh, I just removed it right here, right here, and then this side. And then normally there would be one also right here that would be like a 13 mil or something like that. But looks like for some reason that one's gone. I'll find a replacement one and just put it on there. So we remove all these bolts. So you just remove all those bolts and then this whole shield will come off. So this is the front of it. There's the one, two, three, four. And then there's one on this end and then the other end. There, anyways, so after we remove that, we'll just move it aside. And then we will get under here and get to this thing much more easier okay so at this point I disconnect or actually I did not disconnect what I did was I uh, the two hose clamps I've locked them in place you you'll see what I mean when I show you in a second so this is what I mean right here this is one of them and this is the second one right here this is the second one as you can see anyways so to get these off you can see how the AC lines are in the way yeah, so I, you have to go through on here and then so if you can find needle nose pliers with an angle and the longer handles to apply some leverage to lock them in place and then you can just slide them off like so to this point. Yeah, so yeah, that's that. I'm just thinking maybe I can just replace the one side so I don't have to bother with this side but then again I should probably just do both with the newer stuff just in case something else decides to fail the car does have over 300,000 miles on it so might as well just put new stuff in okay all right now what I need to do is break loose these hoses 
because they have not been taken off yet in quite a bit of time so they're probably just stuck on there quite a bit okay let's have some fun with that so the other end of the hoses is going to be pretty simple this is where this the elbow one goes to so we're just gonna use the pliers then move it to the side take the hose off and go to the right side that one right here that goes to that side that one gets disconnected right here so you also see how it has the locking mechanism on it so if I can do this one hand that way and that'll be it now I just need to remove these hoses take the whole assembly out put the new one in and hopefully it's not gonna fight me <sighs> because so far those two they were the most difficult ones to remove anyways let's get to work one eternity later okay guys so here's the culprit while I was taking it off it just snapped off completely and broke off but it was leaking right along through this line through the casting it just snapped so anyways this is what it looks like and then this is the new piece in comparison to the other one so let's put that piece in just kind of throw it in there <laughs> nice okay and that thing's on there all right well let's uh hook up all the clamps and start reassembling the whole all the way around kind of the way we took everything off we will work our way back got it all pumped up and it's been holding pretty well at the moment so it's not really dropping any pressure looks like that fixed the problem with the coolant leak so at this point i think i'm just gonna relieve the pressure on this So at this point, I have pressure tested the system, as you saw. Uh, the car has been warmed up, ran. It's not overheating, keeps the coolant. Pressure is going, doing pretty good. So we have no loss of coolant. I think we're gonna be good on this one. So let's take a look at some of the tools that we used here for this particular repair. So we need a long need long nose or needle nose pliers 10 millimeter socket 50 millimeter socket for the windshield wipers you know just in general to take stuff apart and then you'll also need a 8 mil socket as well oh, and then a flat head this guy some channel locks and definitely a magnet because you will drop this a couple of times into the engine bay and this will come in handy all right so as always thanks for watching hopefully this is going to be useful until next time peace